But if they wanted, like, but also they wouldn't be able to probably use the stuff from the guy because they don't really use it. Same reason why we say it's not I don't know. How you doing? What's going on? Hi. Oh, you messed up. Oh, you messed up with my goggles on my head. This is a great dog. Dave. I'm excited. We're here. We're here. And have a little ceremony. There's Roby. Hi. 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 Oh, she's coming through. I ain't seen that one. They're the best one. Dad. Daddy helped play with us. Want to take a leave? No, I can't. Oh, is that one there? That's the best one. Yeah, when they're still green, you get it. But here she comes. Go ahead, shut down. <laughs> um, okay, well welcome everybody. I'm so happy that you came and that we had a nice day for this. Um, last year we were huddled huddled around the coffee stand, so this is an improvement. Um, and um, here to celebrate the Green Reentry Job Training Class of 2022. <laughs> Did you did that. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna trip in my wire. Um, so some of you were here last year for our first um, graduation celebration for our pilot program. And we are very excited to tell you that since then, um, we have been funded by the Department of Labor and Training as a Real Jobs Rhode Island program. So, There she is from, from the DLT representing. Um, so this is really exciting for us because um, it means that we will be able to hopefully run our program twice a year going forward. Um, and because of the support, the program is now eight weeks long and trainees received a larger weekly stipend um, and more supports and we served healthy lunches which everybody did not appreciate but I'm going to keep trying <laughs> um, so thanks to Real Jumps Rhode Island and along with our other generous funders um, some of whom are here many of you are here um, and you make this possible and we look forward to continued partnership so the green reentry job training program is definitely a team effort you see all the people and organizations we want to thank on the back of your program um, but i do want to highlight our awesome partner groundwork rhode island um, who provide osha training through their epa funding and provide hands-on experiences um, with ground core and harvest cycle and they have excellent roots of success instructors Sada and Stephanie Woo um, so and we want to give huge thanks for our hosts here open doors um, we are so lucky to be in this beautiful spot and thanks for collaborating with us on workforce skills and getting everyone bus passes and for letting us grow food and plant trees on your land and we are usually here on fridays middle of the day if anyone wants to stop by we're here from april to november um so and and thanks to biz bodega for letting us use the beautiful classroom space on manton avenue um lots of thanks huge thanks to Garden Time co-founder and board president Vera Bowen, who has been keeping the garden growing at the prison while we've been here. And I'm me. And to Emily Cotter. Where's Emily? Right in front of me. Emily knew about her garden-related talents, but she's also really good at editing resumes. And now she's born, she's uh, OSHA certified. <laughs> and thanks to our dedicated volunteers, Bob, Mel, and Judy, for being such wow, important so members of our team. <laughs> um, you want to say something? Oh, yeah. Hi. Happy 
Justice and community organizing, and we are thrilled that she now runs a new monthly um, wellness group for our graduates. So that'll be nice for continued support and community. I'm a little written speech. Share my feelings. Um, you all hear me? Yes. yes. Excellent. Um, so what can I say about this incredible group of humans that you couldn't surmise from spending just a few minutes with them? I have come to care for them profoundly in the short time that we've had together. Anderson, Ace, Lee, Stanley, Angel, Edwin, Chip, Liz, Mike, and Elvis. The first time that we came together, I told you that you can do whatever you want. Y'all remember that? I do. I told you, you can do whatever you want. All you need is a plan and a commitment to your goals. In the time since, we learned so much together and about one another. We explored the foundations of environmental literacy and justice. We got into the thick of community organizing and leadership. You all showed up ready to learn and share, keeping one another accountable. It was really beautiful to see. We also had the opportunity to hold space for each other and unpack deeper concepts like what you're gonna do when your job is getting on your last nerve. We dug deep about respect, just communities, living your values and honoring your commitments. And right now, you're all honoring a commitment to your future selves. Yes, Green Reentry is a job readiness program. But for those of us who have been caught up in violent systems, it's so much bigger than just a job. It's another secure tether to our freedom to practice our humanity in the ways that we see fit, beyond the ways that our traumas have forced us to survive. This is a pathway to thrive. This is a system of change making. This is justice work. So just like the trees that you've learned to steward, we get to witness the turning of your leaves. You're transitioning from a space of having to be resilient to being on a path of self-sufficiency and furthermore, self-actualization. So be creative, be imaginative, and dream big. You already have a unique relationship with overcoming limits. So when life tries to get in your way, look at those challenges as another learning opportunity an opportunity to grow. It's truly been my privilege to be a part of this journey with you. You're all prepared to be huge assets to any team that you're a part of. I am incredibly proud of you. Congratulations. Everybody give them a hand, please. Thank you, Stephanie. 
going to hear from a, a few of our graduates. Um, so Elvis actually started our program last year, but he was not able to complete the training because of a medical emergency, but he came back. And now two classes of trainees have benefited from his awesome team spirit and his deep insights that come out just when you think he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so, Elvis Hopkins. I'm very grateful, I'm very grateful um, to be here and be a part of this uh, community. Bless you. Hmm. And uh, you know, that's why I wasn't able to complete this last year. One bad choice put me in uh, you know, harm's way. And uh, I'm just grateful to be here yes. today. I'm grateful to have my life and to be able to get back. Oh, man. Uh, and, uh, I mean, I've been through a lot. I'm a survivor. You know, it's every warrior has scars, and, and I have a lot of them inside and out. But um, I'm real, I'm true, I'm, I'm blessed to be here. I thank my higher power for giving me the spirit and the will to continue my journey and showing people that I'm, I'm not a thief, a liar. Would she? <laughs> Did I help somebody? You are. Did I help work? You're definitely somebody. somebody. You are. Today is definitely somebody. <laughs> and, and Kate has shown me, uh, you know, compassion and love and genuine, a genuine, genuine spirit. And, and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful she gave me an opportunity to come back here and get through this program because I needed it. My family is poison, they're very toxic to me. So, you know, unfortunately, my family has always been in the streets. You know, since I was a young age, I was sexually abused, physically abused. You know, um, I've been through a lot in my life, but this program has changed my perspective on where I can go, what I can do, yes. and how I can get there. Yes. And I'm grateful for that. program this year um, and anybody who knows Anderson knows that he is never going to pass up a chance to say a few words <laughs> but hopefully he's not going to call me mother goose he's under strict orders not to so we'll see Anderson Price Tell you is acceptable as food in your neighborhood. 
Mm. So I had to go to the local store on Broad Street to do this analysis. And in my neighborhood, they were telling me that ramen noodles, Doritos, Pepsis, Blue Seas, crack pipes, condoms, and chalk boys was for my neighborhood. And my kids had, and my kids in my neighborhood had access to every day because there were no whole foods, there were no green nothing. And now she challenges us. This is about the program. You think you can hang? <laughs> I don't know. Give it a shot. And um, I have to call my mother Duck for one reason. <laughs> if you would analyze a mother duck, she has all these little ducklings. <laughs> and when one of the ducklings, she can have all the ducklings in a row, but if one of these ducklings act up, she's going to flop it up. <laughs> so, and, and she had, you know, a couple of ducklings in here that got loose. <laughs> and she would always pull them back by flapping her wings. And I was all saying, guys, come on, man. Got an employer coming here today. <laughs> Get off the phone. <laughs> and um, Kate would never give up on one of us. We would give up on ourselves mm. before Kate gave up on us. And I'm not gonna stay too much longer because I'm gonna go to crime again. But and if we gave up on ourselves, she still would give up. We have known Ace for a long time as well too. He has his own landscaping business. If anyone needs Congratulations. help um, with your yard, and he's also been working for us this year, watering young street trees um, around the neighborhood. And he's always there when we need him. Um, he's agreed to help run this program next year, so um, that's really exciting, although some trainees might argue that he thought he was in charge this year. <laughs> but it's all good. All right. Aloysius Ace Wea. First of all, you're calling on me. Thank everyone of you for believing in yourself. Thank you for believing in yourself. I got you. Thank you, Mother Goose. <laughs> Thank all our sponsors for giving us the opportunity to change some of the people's minds of convicted felons. Oh, I am grateful for this moment and I'm glad I'm not the only one doing it. I have other people behind me. I thank God he puts me in the right place for making the dumb choices to meet the right people. Mm. And I'm grateful for standing here holding this mic for making a dumb choice I made years ago. But that's where his plan is and I'm grateful. Thank you. I never run a program I am responsible for me, but I conduct myself accordingly because I want other people to follow after our class. Yes. And Kate, I will take up that responsibility. Yeah. And I will hold them accountable and myself. Okay. It's not about that. Thank all our sponsors. Thank you. with Ground Corps from Groundwork, Rhode Island. Um, they, Steve Ritchie called me that day to say he wanted Angel. That's how, that's how good this guy is. But if you 
spend five seconds looking at his resume or talking to him, you also know that he wrote a book, and he is a ceramic artist and a performer, songwriter, so and we don't know what he's going to do okay. next. <laughs> Angel Rosa. I hope it's I'm grateful and I appreciate everything what Kay and Emily uh, did for me because they put it, they planted seed on me that I can believe in me. And when I when I when I meet them, unfortunately I was incarcerated, incarcerated, and then but that's when they, when they start um, telling me that I can believe. That, that I, they had a, a program that I can be successful okay. in short words. So when I came over here and and I started um, believing myself because they made me believe in myself. And when all the strain they gave me, now I I head into the right direction of my life. Okay. With the support they they give me, with the sponsor they they bring over here to to teach us. To, to guide us to the right direction. We couldn't do it with the family. See what all the family that we have in here? Yeah. If we, we got that support, we get a strength and courage to continue in our, in our life. Because one hug and one say hi and one check in hand can change somebody's life when we are thinking in their mind. And the other support that he gave us and it has given me a strength to continue to forget about the old me. That the old me is not no more than me. I just focus to what I've been sponsored, what I've been taught, what I have to do, and that's the, the thing that I have to do. Guide, they guide me for the right duration of my life. I sound like a broken CD, but... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for all, all your... We talked about bringing our grandkids back here to see the trees we planted. But Garden Time um, got some funding to plant. We planted 50 trees total in this neighborhood over the last year. And we were able to um, pay some of our um, graduates from our programs, including Ace and including Teddy, who's here, um, to water the trees, because that's such an important part of, of adding to the tree canopy. Um, but none of, of these efforts would be possible in any way without the awesome guidance of the Providence Neighborhood Planting Program and Cassie and Desi, who is an, our newest friend. And, and Cassie taught us to prune and plant street t trees. And she's here, I hope, to deputize some new Providence community tree keepers. So Cassie Derringer. And the baby. And the baby. So um, this, uh, we have a program where we train um, community members uh, and tree lovers to learn how to do young tree pruning and maintenance all around the city. And this team participated in that training. 
and I was at a planting with 300 elementary school kids today, this morning, and so as a result, I left the actual badge inserts for these on the dashboard of the planting vehicle. So, I'm going to hand out the badge and the holder, and my husband is hopefully racing over here with the badge inserts, and you will get your badges. So, the life of a tree planter is chaotic, but this, this program is an absolute, I said this last year that I just wish I could do this with Kate and you all every day, all day. It is the highlight of my year. I am so excited that we get to work with you all and we had Liz in front us with us this week. It was amazing. Thank you all for the work you're doing with trees in the city. All right, badges. Kalaya. Liar. She don't crack her. Liar. 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 Liar
Congratulations to Michael Scott. Congratulations to Lee Washington. Uh, congratulations to Aloysius Wea. And congratulations to Stanley Zine. Graduating class of the Green Reentry Job Training Program. Yeah, he has a personality. 